Hey Brick Maniacs, we are back here at the designer's desk of Andrew Summers and with his all new Dragon Wagon. This is the uh, tank yes. recovery vehicle. Yes, this is the M25 Dragon Wagon. There we go. Or as you might say in the Midwest, the Dragon Wagon. Is that what we say? I don't know. I, I think. Is that what you yeah, Californians say? It's the Dragon say Wagon. You got a lot of pop, <laughs> you put in your bag and you shop with it to this point. Oh gosh. Oh man. I'll get hate mail in comments, me. whatever. But yeah, this is the M25 Dragon Wagon, a mm -hmm. uh, tank transporter used in World War II. Um, Actually, fun fact about it, I didn't know this. M25 is the designation for the whole thing. So the trailer and the tractor combined. Individually, they have different designations. Ooh. So it's the M26 tractor attached to the M15 wagon or trailer. So, but yeah, the whole thing is the M25. I, I guess they just needed simplification. They wanted to add more numbers to the Yeah, process. something like that. Make it more confusing for me who would inevitably build it. <laughs> So um, yeah, the, the model, from the, from the onset of the project, when I knew I was gonna do the Dragon Wagon, it, was, it seemed very daunting, right? Because you look at the thing in, in pictures and as it stands now, it's a large thing. Absolutely. It's, it's quite the large kit. And surprisingly, as I was building it, the things just sort of fall together. Um, very, very minimal problems, very minimal issues, um, but taking the model, you know, piece by piece Yeah, here. if you want to take that apart. Uh, yeah, yeah, why don't we do that? Off. Get rid of the trailer for now. Just focus on the tractor. Cool. Um, you can probably tell just looking at it, but the there are several features on the, the tractor itself. For one, there is a working steering system. Um, it's positionable, so you just move your, your hand and you move the system like that. Move your hand, then move the system. No. Yes, yes. Yeah. Important instructions. <laughs> it's even written in the manual. Ooh. <laughs> No, but yeah, it's. Um, I chose to add this suspend. Well, not suspend. The steering system, mainly because I was looking at the kit and I said, okay, this is going to be a big thing. I got room. Why not try to add yeah. that? And it's it's a really cool play feature. Mm -hmm. A lot of my personal vehicles have it. Figured I'd bring it to this one. So the the wheels are positional steering. Um, the cab itself, you have doors on either side. These can open, like so. And you can also see there's a nice little printed tile on there. Um, there's a gunner's ring for the yeah. for the uh, the figure that comes with it. You can see them in there, uh, made of flex tube. It's kind it's of a pain there. getting that one done in the instructions, but that's cool. Uh, there is flex tube. Yeah, he looks right at home. And the cabin actually has room for six mini figures. Well, six. Did I count that right? Uh, six with a squeeze, but four. there are there's chairs four, in there for six. four mini figures. Uh -huh. So. I mean, minifigures are always, they're always kind of like tough yeah. to... Yeah, yeah. the dimensions on minifigures are kind of screwy, but... I mean, you look like our troop transport, some of those can fit a lot of, like, tons of people in real life, but right, minifigures, right. you know... Minifigures, they're a little big. They thick. They're stocky. They thick, though. So, yeah, also some details here. The front, I believe these are radiator vents. Those can open. I won't do that now. I don't want to blow the whole model up. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I used a lot of fun parts and fun sure. techniques to, to create the shaping on the, the cabin here. Yeah, um, there's some cool stuff going on with the uh, rear yes. wheels here. Yeah, one interesting thing about the Dragon Wagon is I believe it is a chain drive, four wheel drive system really cool. on the back. So on the actual Dragon Wagon, you'll see that there's chains that connect both the, uh, the back sets of tires and if you move one of the tires here, you move them all. That's cool. So the chain drive actually works. Um, I figured, you know, that's, that's kind of a cool little detail. I think Cody had mentioned that that was a thing it did. So I figured, well, why not? Go I'll give it a go, try to build it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did. Um, other stuff. Um, not sure what this part is on the actual thing. I guess it's like a, um, the, the winch rolls over it. Sure, it's, sure. It's a bar of some sort. Maybe, I mean, if would this uh, hold the, so you can like tow something maybe? Yeah, I, I think that's what it's intended to be, like a tow bar yeah. or something. Um, but that flips up, the little play feature here. Uh, you get a spare tire. And actually on that note about the tires, uh, this involves a bit of tire stretching. Ah. So that's kind of a new thing around here. Uh, I know Cody was doing it with his, uh, his was it his patent mm -hmm. patent tank? Yeah, I taught him how to do that. Oh, did you and know? So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm utilizing it here too. So that's right, Cody. <laughs> There's an ongoing debate on the uh, the origin of the tire stretchers. It's so. not a debate when I'm correct. Ah, <laughs> there we go. He said it. But yeah, these Sorry, Cody. these involve um, some of the larger 
larger Lego tires stretched over some other Lego tires. So it was actually kind of funny because at one point production, they ran over here and they're trying to figure out, is this the right tire? It doesn't look the right size. And I'm like, oh yeah, we're using a stretching technique. So always dropping surprises on them. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, keep them on their toes. Um, but I guess now we can introduce the trailer portion of it. So the trailer, um, it actually fits a whole tank on it. And to demonstrate, I will use my Unikitty tank. Nice little placeholder right tank. So on the actual Dragon Wagon, um, well, it's easier if I move the tractor. Sure. Historically accurate, right? Yes, historically accurate pink Abrams chibi tank. Mm -hmm. But on the actual, <laughs> actual Dragon Wagon, um, the Sherman tank would simply drive up on these ramps right here. And Just it's interesting too point. because it drives in between the rear sets of wheels, which I, I thought that was kind of crazy when I first saw it. Um, but it was kind of cool that it does that. So you roll your Sherman tank up on here and it fits nicely on the tractor here, up oh, trailer rather. Yeah. And if you have it at a stationary position like this, you can take the tractor and simply just back it right up in there. So, nice. and there's a little pin connection so that it easily attaches. But um, yeah, you can yeah, that's cool. tow it along, have a nice little play session with it, I guess. I'm, I'm really excited to see some of the uh, dioramas that we're gonna see using this model, because uh, that's just like, it's just such like a quintessential uh, yeah. beast. It's like, it's gonna have to be a big huge, diorama, you know? though. Right, <laughs> that's cool. Those are always cool, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, um, it was a challenge at, at the onset of it, but as I, you know, I got through it. Yeah, it's, it's cool that it came together. It all fell together so It looks nicely. really freaking sweet, so. Thank you. Yeah. Um, sweet. Uh, the M20, what was it again? M25, M20. Dragon Wagon. It's the M25 Dragon Wagon, designed by Andrew Summers. Yes. Uh, for more information on this kit, please check out BrickMania.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.